Hey, this is Dominic and Maxim Threshold Radio. And I'm here with with what? Tyler. I know your first name, but your Tyler last... Valenza. That's it. I, I always screw up your last name. That's all right. <laughs> so yeah, he's with Red Sun Rising, and they're like, I want to say they're sort of like a, a local band that is blowing up. They're like your guys are from the out, from the Akron area, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, from Akron, born and raised. So you guys are playing Rock and Rage. How was the response this year? It was great. Um, I actually saw a lot of the fans from Akron, you know, up in the first couple of rows, which was great. But I saw a lot of new faces, and uh, it, it seemed that we won them over. It was it was a really really good show. Did you get to hang out with Tremonti again today? Uh, I actually haven't seen Mark today, um, but I got to tell you, man, Mark and the rest of his crew are some of the nicest, most genuine people that I've ever met. Like, and that's that's like that's like not that's not just me being like, oh, he's much funny. Like, he's a nice guy. And, like, he's seriously like, they were really hospitable, and and that was just a great experience. And and the dudes in see there too. Um, and they, you know, present for the listeners here. We were just on tour with see there and Tremonti, and. And uh, they, it, it was great, man. Like they were, they were really, really hospitable. Um, and like, every time we saw them, we were just like, "Hey, what's up, dude?" You know what I mean? It was like, nice. Yeah, it was super cool. So, what do you guys got planned after this? Uh, well, we're going home today for two weeks. Uh, and when I say going home, I mean we're going to be working, shooting music video. But it'll be in Akron. Um, uh, so we're, yeah, we're shooting the music video, uh, and then we're going out on tour with a band called Nothing More, uh, which, you know, those those dudes kill it. I've seen a few videos on YouTube, and I've heard a couple of songs, and they're awesome. And I hear they're nice guys, too, so... Um, but yeah, and then there's a couple a couple of little little surprises, little tricks up the sleeve that I can't really talk about yet, but they're going to be fun. They're going to be cool. I mean, I've been really, ex- really excited about your band. You know, I got to see you. What show was it? That I saw you at. I was, I was shooting for. Oh, uh, uh, it was the Five Finger Kill Switch, and it, cause you, you were doing press yeah. that day, dude. Yeah, that was really cool. Um, I forgot about that actually. That was like three years. That's how I met you. Yeah. I remember you were like, oh, hey, aren't you in that, that band from Akron? I was like, oh, yeah, dude. And then I remember, like, giving you, like, one quick, like, quirky one-liner. Yeah. It probably wasn't very good. but I played it. <laughs> really? Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. Wow. Probably not good. So, you, so you got, you, so it looks like the ball is rolling for you. I mean, how's, how's the guys in the band feeling about this? I mean, everybody's really, really, really excited. I mean, everybody's really... Is somebody like, oh, shit, we're blowing up, man. Now now we got to take this serious? Uh, no, because, you know, we've, we've all taken it very seriously from the start. Um, especially, like, I mean, Ryan and Mike had a lot of the groundwork laid before I came in. Those, you know, they just... It's, it's been a business from day one, and it's, it's you know, because it, it is. It's a small business, and, and we're trying to grow that business. And... Uh, you know, no. You know, I mean, granted, it, it, I would be lying if I said that there weren't certain intimidations about being on the road all the time and and, and doing the touring lifestyle. But the thing is, is, at the end of the day, like it's it's literally a dream come true. You know what I mean? So everybody everybody has their head in the game, and everybody's like everybody eyes on the prize. Cool, man. I really really hope everything worked out for you guys, and I, I really want to see you guys take it to the next level and just really do it, because you guys got it, and you guys are top-notch musicians. You got some kick-ass PRSs, yeah. and you need to make them pay off. Thanks, dude. Yeah, the PRSs are great. I just signed with them a couple of months ago, and like, they, it's, it's, they've just taken such good care of me, and like, they're really nice people over there, and, and the guitars are unbelievable. Like, I've never had... I've had a lot of really nice guitars, and I'm not saying that PRS is sort of the only nice guitars on the planet, obviously, but um, those are the first guitars in a while that when I pick them up, they just inspire me to play. Oh, yeah. And that, that, that. They gotta, they, they're, I always look at them I was like, I mean, if you like a Les Paul, but you don't want, you don't want that same style, but you want the same feel right. and same badass sound that you get out of it, the Dragon pickups and those things that do it. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. And, like, that's why... Um, that's why the the Mark Tremonti model actually really turned me on because that was my first one I ever got. Yeah, yeah, they're great, dude. They're so like first of all, they're so consistent. We we deal with the, you know being on tour. We go through a lot of uh, a lot of temperature changes, a lot of just really different and extreme environments. And very rarely do I have to do anything with that guitar. They're, they they they're so consistent. And it back to the Les Paul thing. It's like it's got kind of like that Les Paul feel, but it's got this really modern like just it's 
just a really modern take on it. It doesn't feel a ton. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't yeah, kill you. I actually have like a chronic back problem now from playing the Les Pauls. I did too. I, w- I was going, I had um, the standard and I did Les Pauls and I downgraded my stuff and I got me a uh, dual rectifier. I kept, you know, you start swapping shit out, trying to make better yeah. gear for yourself. I had a PRS. I had a teal black one with the dragon pickups, 24, 24 frets with the burden lights. I love that thing. I, I got rid of that and then I went to a Les Paul Standard. So I always wanted a black Les Paul Standard. I traded that in and I was like, oh my goodness, so I ended up getting another amp and you know, just always moving stuff around. I feel you, dude. And my back started hurting. So I was like, okay, well, I'm now I'm playing the ESPs now because they're lighter, but I still got a nice sound to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I picked up this Les Paul Invader, this Gibson uh, Invader. It was like an 83 or something like that. It was a bolt on Les Paul. Really? So it was really cool. It has an ebony fretboard. Has a mahogany body, just like a Les Paul, but a bolt on neck, and they sell for like 300 bucks used. Oh, and you get them on eBay, but it's a, they're not as they're heavy or not that heavy though. That's like the best kept secret in the world. Then I was the like, invader, all you gotta do is get rid of the little invader um, belt, yeah, put, yeah. put a Les Paul one on there, and that's it. Yeah. They got the dots, doesn't have you know, the, I mean, that's cool. You know. I've always, uh, depending on the guitar, I've been a bigger fan of dot inlays anyway, so that would work out. Nice. So Tyler, how can people get a hold of your music? Uh, we have several ways. Uh, one is Facebook, obviously, facebook.com backslash Red Sun Rising Music, uh, Red Sun Rising Music.com. Um, we just released a single called The Other Side, uh, which will be at radio on August 9th, or no, I'm sorry, June 9th. And then the album, uh, Polyester Zeal, will be out August 7th. So I might have mixed those up. But uh, there, the single is available for purchase on iTunes, so you can get it there. Um, and, yeah, you should be seeing uh, a video and a few other things from us quite soon. Nice. Can you do me a quick favor? Yes. Can you do a promo ID for a radio show? Just say your name, the band you're with, you listen to Maximum Threshold, and throw something crazy out at the end of it. Don't put no thought into this. Okay. Don't, don't look. All right. <laughs> Hi, this is Tyler from Red Sun Rising, and you're listening to Maximum Threshold. Yeah! Perfect.